Nearly 1,000 18-year-olds a month still sign up for selective service in Dallas. Few try to escape the chore, yet a few short months ago, America was involved in one of the most divisive wars in its history, a war which sent thousands fleeing the country, up to 60,000 of them, most because of sincerely felt moral objections to the war. What many may not realize is that while amnesty still is one of the most controversial of issues, a type of unspoken amnesty has developed. Laws have changed, records have been destroyed, and judicial attitudes have softened in many cases. For instance, the Justice Department and Selective Service still have 5,000 men under indictment for violations. The FBI lists 4,400 men as fugitives with 2,900 known to be in Canada. The most conservative estimates are that 20,000 men are still in Canada. Last year, of the 3,500 cases prosecuted against Selective Service violators nationwide, more than 2,300 were dismissed. 180 were acquitted, 977 were convicted, and just 261 were sent to jail. And the jail sentences were lighter, with an average of 17 and a half months in 1973 as compared to 75 months in 1970. Baxton Bryant is one of a growing number of clergymen and laymen trying to reach the people in Canada and at home to tell them of the change in attitudes. It's going on, and, and of course they're finding uh, the government itself is part of it. The last time I was in Canada in December, I guess, I ran into where uh, a number of them are being mailed discharges. Why so long after the war, the ceasefire ended, is, are the feelings so divisive, so ambivalent about amnesty? Uh, uh, because uh, I think it's still, people are trying to work with the myth of America, that we're always right, we have reasons to fight, we win wars, we do it for God and for mother and for country that th there's nothing to support that and therefore people uh, rather than to, to to face the reality of it we just want to push it aside dallas has no organized repatriation or amnesty movement but sentiment is growing but as bryant says because of the anger and the hate many of the men probably will never return to the united states john north channel 8 news